Ah, uh, what a lovely day to walk around in my amazing mech suit. Because why not? This thing has the top tier suspension, the best suspension in the world. The Germans actually helped design the the genetics for this so-called behemoth. Yes, that's right. We are now giving machines genetics. Don't question it. Okay, just go with it. All right. So today we have this lovely Omnium Beast something something something. Yeah, Omnium Beast Seven. There we go. What a what a beautiful vehicle here. And you may be wondering, how do I get it? Well, I have news for you. It's very simple. In three easy steps, you can t you too can run around in a chicken legged absolute behemoth. All right. So first things first, you're gonna want to come down here to the good old H2 HT201 shelter. Okay. You're gonna hop on that teleport roll down there, and you're gonna see this lovely little barrier and then a supply pod inside well the barrier code fear not is 1647 very easy very very organic number here we go you just got it in type 2 supply pod right there that's how you get the left arm okay easy i okay and then when you try to leave they trap you in here because they're mean <laughs> I forgot that even was possible. All right, so there's part one of three. Part two is a little bit more difficult. Not difficult, it just takes a little bit more time. You're gonna wanna go up to Banges, Bangus, Bangus, however you wanna say it, and go to this teleport point right here, and then you're gonna go to this oil rig right there. And this is where my favorite combination of exploration relics comes in, the jetpack and the rift board. You're just going to go on straight from that teleporter right on over to here to this oil rig right here. You're going to see this lovely little hyena and a guard. Your first time interacting with him, he will give you a quest. The quest does not take that long. It's quite simple, really. You just follow the instructions. You're going to end up going to, um, the, to the port or the dock. You're going to have to talk to like three different NPCs and you're going to be good to go. So once you finish that, you're going to come back, shoot on up to the top of this uh, little platform here. You're going to see this supply pod. It's going to be gold, glowing golden. Can't speak here. Open it up, and boom, you have the cockpit for the Omnium Beast 7. Way to go. You are now two-thirds of the way done. You've probably only spent about five minutes on this. Now, the fun part, everybody's favorite part, the right arm. With it coming in with a staggering 0.2 to 0.5% drop rate that we don't care about because it's better to drown our sorrows in music and streams while we're grinding this stuff than actually think about percentages. After all, this is a gotcha game. We don't care about percentages in the first place. All right. Now, there's going to be five locations that you can grind for this right arm. First things first, back at HT, HT201 shelter, you're going to have a behemoth right there. And then you're going to have a behemoth right there by the Rose Garden. I'll show you the easiest, the fastest way to uh, complete this circuit. You have those two right there. You're going to go up. I accidentally unmarked this earlier. But right here, drop a marker. Right there, you're going to have a third behemoth. And then... Seventh Day Forest, another behemoth, and five behemoths. So I'm gonna show you the qu uh, quick route real quick. Just gonna run through. I'm not gonna fight them, but I'll show you where they are. So one's gonna be down here at this camp. You can see them right there. There's Surter. All right. Now the fastest way to get from point A to point B here is going to be the Rift Board. And you're just gonna, as soon as you kill him, Rift Board around this point and all the way over to there. It's faster than taking the teleport. All right, and here we are. Second behemoth, Utgarda. There we go. Very cool. All right, so you're gonna get to the fiendish swamp teleporter right here, in the top left of the crown crown mine area. So you're gonna take a right. Well, that was misclick and a half. You're gonna take a right from there. Go across this little platform. Go to this cliff right here. I'm out of jetpack charges, so this is gonna take longer than normal. But just use your jetpack to boost stuff as high as you can, then climb the rest of the way. And when you get up here, you're going to go to right here. 
Just keep going straight, keep climbing. You're gonna find the best route for you eventually, but for me it was literally just climb a hill, go straight, climb another hill. Get to the top here, and up here, there he is. He's gonna be somewhere in this top plateau, usually standing somewhere around the crystal chunk. And you have, there's uh, Burgilmir. Burgilmir? However you say his name. Yeah, he's right there. Alright, so you're gonna come to this teleporter right here, seventh day forest. Then top right of Banches, bottom right of Navia. You're just gonna hop across. I also use a jet board for this part because, once again, I was doing this at 3 a.m. to get the part and didn't feel like taking the extra five seconds to run around. So you're just gonna keep going straight. There's another behemoth right here. Uh, Mimir. And yeah, on to the last part. All right, so you're gonna come to the Navia Omnium Tower for the next one. Go ahead and jump off the right side of it. Just get to the ground as quickly as possible. Once you hit the ground, pull out your mount and just start running straight. You're gonna go to the edge of this cliff, jump off it, dash the next one, and then rinse and repeat. So there's the first cliff. And we go to the next cliff, right here. Now what I like to do, I like to go there, pull a right, go right there, jump up, boom, you're up already. And there's your fifth and final behemoth. Far body, or fart boy, as I like to call him, because all he does is like to jump around, and he probably has really bad gas from doing all that. But yep, those are the five locations for the behemoth, and the three steps to get your very own Omnium Beast 7. Congratulations, you've done it. Like, comment, subscribe, but the next guide for the next mount will be coming out tomorrow. And I hope y'all enjoy it. So until then, peace boys.